I personally occupied uh, to contribute to this movement, of course, for it's no, no personal benefit to myself, really. I have other things I could be doing. Um, I occupy because I, I believe that what is needed is the public space and the, um, the community in that public space um, that is dedicated to uh, the, the expression of our discontent with the way that this world is being run, with the economic and social injustice, with the greed that's running rampant, with uh, people's complete apathy towards the, um, the long term or and immediate consequences of their choices. So I occupy in order to, to make this space available and to begin the process of a popular movement to change these things. Yeah, um, well I think greed is a pretty good way to, to surmise it, but really greed's going to be with us for time immemorial. It's, it's unchecked greed that's the problem. People, those with the greed have got the power too. Um, and so we're here to change that, and that manifests in a gazillion little issues all over the world that we could list ad nauseum, but we won't for the time being. We'll be short of Well, yes and no. I was definitely there, but um, because my job was logistics at the time, I, um, I didn't really have a, a central role. I, well, a central protesting role. I got all the equipment that was around in City Square and tried to protect it. Unfortunately, I was kind of double-crossed by the cops and they took it all anyway. So when everything went down, I was off somewhere else trying to get transport ready to, to get the stuff out of City Square. Well, yeah, it was entirely abhorrent. You know, I mean, if we, it was of course the the soggies who did all the damage, the riot cops. Um, but you know, they showed a complete lack of integrity or commitment to the notion of you know proper democratic processes, such as allowing us to protest and whatnot. It was, it was just utterly abhorrent. I, I really, I really feel saddened that uh, a portion of the community, which is so important to us, you know, law enforcement has been controlled by people serving obviously someone other than the people, the constituents. Well, I think my experience is, is one of a, a process of realizing that this isn't about this isn't about law or about grass or about gardens when they come in and they, they, they take our stuff. It's about stopping a protest. It's just clearly obvious that um, that they're using the law or the language of the law to cover over the ugly fact that they're just trying to suppress a protest and that um, they don't even give a damn that they're going to lose the court case because I think they're hoping to crush us before we win the court case so that there's nothing left to fight for, you know, nothing, no one left to actually complain when we finally have the proof that we're right. We're right. We don't need more proof than we've got. Honestly, I don't think um, <clears throat> I don't think whether we win or lose the protest, the um, the court case is an important issue at all. I think what's important is that we're doing it, and we're trying to we're holding them to account. See, because the reality is that um, if we lose the court case, we keep occupying. I mean, the issues are still there, and it's still important. Um, the, the conditions of the occupation will be somewhat different if we win, but if we win that comes with problems too. If we win, we end up with an open camp and maybe the ratio of protesters to partiers changes or something like that. But it doesn't matter, you know. Um, we keep going no matter what the court case is, but we need to hold them to account. Well, I would certainly think they should come down and give it a try. It's, it's not as... Um, dangerous as some people make out or you might be tempted to feel. We, uh, we all look after each other, we, you know, no one, no one leaves anyone to, to face dangers by themselves here and, and it's a real growth experience. Everyone I've met who's occupied here has come away feeling like they've really grown as a person and also as an activist, um, as a citizen, as a human being. Mm.